Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I hope you've been enjoying my 12 days of Christmas crafting that we've been posting, but I wanted to post my normal Inspiration Friday project. And this one's gonna be a fun one, you guys. We're gonna do some sublimation. And so what fun it is on Christmas Eve to put out some cookies and some milk and maybe a carrot for Santa to come and visit. And so I found this great design on Design Bundles and I made a little bit of changes to it um, and I put it on a sublimation tile and then added a cork finish. So I wanna show you guys how I did this. But before we do that, I wanna thank you guys once again for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. So let's get started on this project and I am going to join you over in Design Bundles website so I can show you where I got my design and then I'm going to show you guys how to use Canva. It's another product that you can use on the internet and to design your project. So let's get started. I'll join you over in Design Bundles and let's get making these cute Dear Santa cookie trays. So let's get started and I want to show you how I made my Santa's cookie tray. Now, I could have taken the time to design my cookie tray um, myself, but I want to share with you guys design bundles. And I think I've done it on a couple other um, of my sublimation um, tutorials, but what I did is I just went into, um, into here and I typed in Santa cookies. And then I just went out to take a look at what is out there and available. And you guys, these are pretty reasonably priced. There's a lot of free ones you can pick up too, but you can see there's all kinds of different designs. And I can bring down a ready-made design for $3 or $4. I mean, pretty reasonable when you look at it. So what I did is I found a design that I really liked and I brought it down and this happens to be the one that I picked out and it is just so cute. Um, I think the saying on it is perfect, but it's a little plain, right? It needs a little bit of pizzazz. So what I haven't shown you guys before is how I use the software or the website called Canva. Now Canva is, does have a free version and I will tell you I use the paid version of Canva and if you guys follow me on YouTube or any of my um, other social media, you may see some designs that I've got out there. But what we want to do is let's just go ahead and create um, that cookie plate that we're going to print. And then we are going to actually make um, a printout and make our um, tile. So what I'm going to start with is... I am going to resize this because I want my cookie tray to be eight by 10, okay? Because that's the size of a trivet that I have. So I'm just gonna resize it. And you can see now it is an eight by 10 um, blank sheet that I have in front of me. So once we've got the size of the template that we need, which is the eight by 10, then what I like to do is I want to add a background. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in um, Christmas and you can see it starts to come up and I'm just going to grab Christmas background. Now, well, let's see, I did chai background. So <laughs> let's stick with Christmas, Lisa. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to find something that would be fun to go with Santa's cookies. And so let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. Um, and now the fun thing is there are so many different designs that you can pick from. Now, like I told you guys, I do have the paid version um, of it. And so if you go in here and you see where it says pro, that is the paid version, whereas here there's free. So there's quite a few free ones that you can look at. Um, you'll just have to scan through here and see. Uh, but I just want to give you guys another option to be able to design um, a, a template for a sublimation tile. Now, that um, Santa um, 
tray that we brought in from design bundles, that's the fun part. Now I can go to my uploads and I can upload from my media and I'm going to go straight from my, um, my Mac Airbook where I've got everything downloaded to and I'm going to go ahead and just bring this in by date and I have got my Santa um, sample and so it's going to bring in the sample um, of the tray and that's just what they named it so that's why I'm calling it sample so it takes a few minutes for it to download but once it downloads I'm gonna bring it right in and lay it right on top of my design now I'm gonna go ahead and make it pretty big but I want it to be centered on my trivet and so I'm not gonna make it all the way out okay so that way I've got room for my front end, uh, excuse me, I've got room for it to fit all the way on. Now, I want to make my background be a little bit more transparent. So that's another feature that we've got inside of Canva. So if I go in here, I can bring this down and make it just a little bit more transparent. That way, my dear Santa really sticks out really nice. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got our design done, and how long did that take? You know, maybe just a couple minutes. I think the longest thing it takes me sometimes is just to come up with the ideas of the background. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a download. And when I do a download, I always bring mine down as a PNG whenever I'm going to do sublimation. And I'm just going to go ahead and download that directly to my computer. So it's really quick here how it downloads, okay? So it's in my downloads now. So if I go over here to my downloads, I'm going to bring up my design. And there we have the design that we just did, okay? Next thing I need to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to print. Now, with any time I do sublimation, you always want to remember you grab the correct printer, which is my Epson Workforce 7720, and I have got sublimation settings already in. If you have not done anything with your settings, you always want to make sure you do a mirror image whenever you're doing sublimation, okay? And you guys can see here, inside of my print settings, I've already got mirror image turned on, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, I always take a look at it. Now I'm using 8.5 by 11 paper, and I've got an 8 by 10 trivet. So if I go back to my preview, and I may want to just scale this up just a little bit, so it's just a little bit bigger, okay? I want to make sure that it's going to fit on the trivet. And so if you think about this as 8.5 by 11, okay? I've definitely got my 8x10 covered there. So now all I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and print it. And then I'm going to meet you over at the heat press. And we're going to apply this on my tile. Okay, so I just got the print off of the printer. And we're all ready to go. And so I wanted to show you the tiles that I'm using. And this is an 8x10 tile. Now, I do want to make sure you guys understand that this is a sublimation tile. This is just not a tile you can pick up at, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot. So I did order these. I'll make sure I'll put the link down below on where I got my tiles. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our image. And remember how I told you it is a mirror image. And we are going to put it on the tile, okay? And so I'm going to lay it down, okay? And I am going to put it in. Now I'm gonna move my camera over a little bit so you guys can get a better close-up view of what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my um, heat transfer tape. Um, and so you want to make sure that you use the correct tape and what I'm doing is I'm centering my tile and I've got my tile face down and I'm really looking at where my image is okay I made sure that I made my image a little bit bigger than what I needed 
And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some of my heat resistant tape and put that right on. And that's just gonna help it stay secured when I move it over to the heat press. Now my heat press is already heated up and it is at 400 degrees and it is going to be in there for 500 seconds, okay? So really important that you put it in at the right temperature and at the for the right timing. When you purchase sublimation blanks, most all of the blanks come with the correct heat setting, okay? So now I've got my tape on, I've got my design face down, I'm gonna come over here to my heat press, okay? And I've got a piece of butcher paper already um, on my heat press, okay? And I've got another, um, just a piece of white cardstock, and they call this blowout paper. And that is just in case my ink goes out. I want to protect my pad, okay? And then I have got a Teflon sheet that I like to use whenever I'm doing sublimation, okay? I'm going to put this down. Now, the other thing you want to be careful of with tiles is they can break, right? So I like to play um, with my heat press. My um, pressure is right here, but I'm going to go ahead and come down and I'm going to engage it and I'm going to hit my time. And then I'm going to join you guys back when it's all done. Okay, so my timer is going off and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I put on my gloves because this has been in at 400 degrees and it is going to be really hot. I also like to have a hot pad available to be able to put it on. And so we're going to bring it out. I'm just going to take off my little Teflon sheet. And we have got our design. Now it's super hot, just like I said, but let's go ahead and take off the paper and let's see what our design looks like. Oh, you guys, this one turned out cute. Look at that, how cute. That'll look so great on someone's table on Christmas Eve. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna let this cool down because I wanna show you guys one more step that I do with these um, just to make sure they're nice and protected. So I'll let this cool down and I'll join you back over at my craft table. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you on making these um, cute trivets is for Santa's cookies is this is one I already had done. And what I do is I put a cork finish on the back. And so they're really nice. It protects your table and it will actually really help with the um, trivet also. So what I've done is I've purchased a roll and I'll put a link down below down from Amazon. And all I do, and I'm just about out of this roll. So what I'm gonna do is my trivet has cooled down, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it on the mat. Excuse me, lay it on the mat, lay it on the trivet. And then I'm gonna use my knife and I'm just going to closely cut it, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect at this point in time. My trivet's still a little bit hot, so I don't wanna lay it directly on my mat. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove, this is his adhesive cork backing. I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna place it on the back of my trivet. And then I'm just going to push that down into place, okay? The end of my roll, so I've got this masking tape on there, okay? I'm gonna get that out of the way. And then all I do is I push really hard on it and then I'm gonna flip over my trivet and any of the edges that are showing, I'm just going to use my knife and just cut right along there and trim it out. So that way it's got a really nice finish on it and we are ready to go. How cute is this little um, Santa's cookies? So it says, dear Santa, here's some um, milk in case you're thirsty a yummy carrot um, for the reindeer, a snack will give you energy. P.S. I've been very good this year. So I really hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project. I'll make sure I give you a close-up of all three of the designs that I've done with this. And if you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And here's a close-up view of our finished product. 
and a couple other examples of other cookie trays I've made. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.